three five-minute rounds in the Cage Warriors bantamweight division. The Nightmare, Liam Gittins in the white. Rory Evans in the black. OK, gentlemen, first round. You ready? You ready? Let's go. No touch of gloves. We're straight down to business. Rory looking to make a splash here. First time we'll have seen him in the cage since September of 2021 when he got that decision victory over Wesley Meyer. Before that, an absolutely hellacious ground and pound stoppage against Jimmy Fell. If you uh, follow Cage Warriors social media, we put a clip of that up during the week. It's well worth your time searching out. Evans has been doing a bit of grappling on the side as well since we last saw him in the yellow gloves. Gittins, as we know, primarily going to come out and look to get those hands to work. Nice body shot there from Evans, though. I suppose if there is a criticism of Liam Gittins, it is that with him being such a high output, entertaining fighter, he does tend to go all in very early. And we, we have seen him on occasion struggle uh, in that last round or the, or the later stages of the fight. So we'll see what the game plan is here in, in terms of maybe not putting that foot to the floor so early. Tries to step in elbow there, just gets in, dips to the body. We've got Paddy Pimlet sat just behind us here at the commentary position. Cage side, of course, a teammate of Liam Gittins for many years. Level change by Evans. Nicely uh, sprawled on by Gittins. Evans trying to work this double underhook position. Changes down for a single leg. Very nicely done. Gittins straight back to the feet. But Rory continuing the drive forward, still in this double underhook position. Gittins does a really good job of creating some space there. Yeah, good work from Neil Gittins to get out from under that. Richard Shaw in the corner of Rory Evans. Want him to get that jab working. Oh, nice elbow. Four members of Team Next Generation on the card here tonight at Cage Warriors 152. Uh, originally supposed to be five. Uh, if you haven't heard the news, unfortunately, uh, Josh Reed versus Liam Malloy uh, has been cancelled. Uh, Reed falling ill overnight last night and not medically cleared. So we do want to send all our best wishes to Josh Reed. Hope he gets well soon. And we hope to see uh, one of the most entertaining fighters on the Cage Warriors roster back in there. And hopefully that fight against Liam Malloy can uh, be run back at, at some stage in the future because that was uh, set to be an absolute barn burner. And always interesting as well, I think, Dan, when you're fighting on the same card as multiple teammates, being that first man out, you really want to set the tone for the evening. Yeah, 100%. Nice work on the inside here from Gittins. Holding those hooks and uppercuts fly, putting the pressure on now. He's done a, Gittins has done a very good job of uh, defending all of the clinch attempts from Evans and really starting to look like he's unloading a little bit more here. Nice news from Gittins there. Evans aggressively pursuing this takedown, but... So far, Gittins doing a great job. I mean, there's a deeper position on the hips than Evans has had so far. He might try and lift Liam up here if he can, if he can get his hips underneath. He tries, but not quite able to get to that position. Liam's going to try and punish him now. from the clinch here. Liam is working the body quite heavily so far. Oh, tries a high kick and gets deposited on his back by Gittin. 
seconds. 12 seconds left in the round. A couple of big elbows wouldn't go amiss here from Gittes to end the round. Hammer fist. 100%. Working the head and the body with that ground and pound, and that's a strong finish for yeah. the first round from Liam Gittins. Second round, you ready? You ready? Let's go. Again, no touch of gloves. He's probably going to get straight back to it. Calf kick to open things up from Liam Gittins. Evans trying to ride over the top. Oh, big knee there from Gittins, but a, a bit of a slip. Wasn't able to follow up. Nice left hand from the next generation man. Nice stepping shot there from Gittins. And what I do like about Gittins, the Liam Gittins we're seeing in this fight, is he's looking a lot more measured and composed. He's yeah. not getting uh, dragged into a dogfight here. Stepping shot from Evans there. <laughs> I didn't actually realise that. We also have Oban Elliott, who's a teammate of Rory Evans, sat next to Paddy Pimler <laughs> behind us, both intently watching on here. Of course, a huge fight for Oban Elliott coming up in just two weeks' time at the Three Arena in Dublin. He's taking on James Sheehan in a fight which could have monumental implications for the Cage Warriors welterweight division and that welterweight title picture. And of course, the big welterweight unification match between Reese McKee, the champion, and the interim champion, Judo Jim Wallhead, the legend. April 29th, tickets available from cagewarriors.com now. It's going to be an event for the ages, folks, and you really do not want to miss this one. Neither man still really committing everything to these shots. Nice couple of punches upstairs from Liam Gittins now. As we said, there are three teammates still to come from uh, Team Next Generation. We've got Luke Riley, the striking prodigy. We've got Adam Cullen, the man with more first round finishes than I've had hot dinners and believe me I've, I've had one or two too many of those over the years and of course Nathan Fletcher in the co-main event against Dan Dice another huge fight for the bantamweight division Gittins now investing in that bodywork again nice elbow from Gittins trying to frame off yeah Gittins really mixing up the strikes very nicely tonight Head, body, throwing punches, knees, elbows. Another shot from Evans. This is a, a little bit better. He's got those hands connected under the leg, but the spool on this is heavy. And, and Gittins could come around and try and take the back here if he wanted to. But I don't feel like he's going to. I think he'll prefer to create some distance and try and strike. Gittins trying to keep up that pressure now. Just over a minute and a half to go in the second round. Paddy Pimler behind us calling for combinations, calling for pressure. Oh, kick of the leg, look like that really hurt Evans, and Evans is hobbling now. Gittins unloading, and the movement of Rory Evans is compromised here. Gittins firing off the knees, a lot of these being blocked, but some getting through. Evans looks like he's really struggling here. Gittins pounding away with those knees. What a chin on Rory Evans, taking knees like an absolute champ. Wow. What barrage there, and he's still in it, still eating these. I mean, he's blocking a lot of them, but... And Leon Roberts calling for Evans to fight back now. He's taking a lot of shots here. They're not all landing, but the ones that are are landing cleanly. And just there's not much in terms of reaction from Rory Evans. That's it, that's it, that's it. That's a good call. The referee has seen it. And immediately you see Rory Evans sinks the floor. They clearly yeah. 
very troubled by uh, the left leg, I believe it was. He took a calf kick, and uh, immediately the complexion of this fight changed. Yeah. And then the number of knees that were thrown from this clinch position. And Evans never really able to break that clinch. And we're going to see another look now at that uh, leg kick, I believe. Oh. An immediate reaction there. Uh, and again, not every one of these uh, knees and elbows getting through, but the ones that did were doing damage. And again, that, that's a great stoppage from Leon, one of, one of the best and most experienced officials in this part of the world, knows what he's doing, and uh, did the right thing for Rory Evans there. And obviously Rory's going to be a bit frustrated with that, but the right decision there, and we see Paddy Pimler. He's got an ankle boot on, but he jumped straight to his feet there. <laughs>